We're here with Kathy Boilu, who is from the New Creation Community Church in Dover, Pennsylvania. And she's very excited about how her church has gotten personally involved with the community. Thank you for coming. Thank you for having me. So you said you noticed that there was a definite change whenever the leadership of the church decided that they just didn't want to have financial involvement in missions, but to have a personal involvement. Um, can you tell me a little bit about how that got started? Yes, we um, had several things going at the time that were of a general nature, like a free Christmas Day dinner, and the church had stepped out into the community in, in several ways. but. The one thing that seemed to be missing was getting our people actually engaged in the community with the needs of the community. And Andy Stanley says that, um, you know, if we, we should do for the one what we want to do for all. And sometimes I think in the church we get paralyzed because we're overwhelmed with all these needs and, and so we don't focus on any of them. So we decided that we were going to target one need at a time a specific need and rise to try and meet that need. And the first need we came across was we have an elementary school across the street. And so we approached them and said, what, what can we do? And they said that they needed backpacks for several of the families that were economically challenged. And so on the day that we usually bless the backpacks of the kids in the church, we asked families if they were willing to bring a new backpack for a child that wouldn't have one. That's a great idea. And we asked for 10 and we got 40. <laughs> okay. And so that right away was kind of a, a sign to me that our, our people were really looking for ways to engage in meaningful ways. Mm -hmm. um, so what were some of the other missions that kind of snowballed after you right. had the first? Right, it, it's a progressive story because I think when we say yes to God, in the first opportunity that he has, then he can trust us with the next step. And so the next thing that happened was we, after the backpacks, we were all excited and engaged and people in the church were really looking for their next step now. Now they're, they were looking. And so we decided with the same school that we would, we asked, do they, these kids um, that have need in your, in your school, do they have coats and mittens? A very simple thing. And we found out no. So we we were anonymous as donors. We gave it to this, the school and they were able to distribute. But we said, you can even give us the colors and sizes. And, and if a child would get a coat they really wanted, we tried to make it personal. So we sent the coats over. And what we didn't expect was this staff of this school and the rest of the district was, was watching us. And they came to us and they said, this is awesome. We, we could do something like this. We watch what you did. And now we've gotten together, and so the staff of different schools in the district got together, and then they started an indoor yard sale to give um, things to, the, like furniture and stuff that families could come in and get what they need. So it, it started as us just trying to be faithful and grow new creation people to, in their discipleship, but it had a, a, a definite change in the, in the community where other organizations and people were now going, we can, we can make a change in our community. Yeah, that's great that your church and its people were able to be that example um, and to be that light of the world just like they're supposed to be and that everybody's always watching, you know, and that um, hopefully you're doing good things that they can then um, recreate in their lives as well. Um, so um, what are some other things then, other ways that you got personally involved maybe with people in the community, not just by giving items, but um, on a one-on-one on -on -one basis? Oh, well, the next step, I think, came from that experience. Um, because we became known in the larger community as the church that would take on needs, <laughs> um, we got a call after the tornado in Joplin. A call came in from the trucking company and said, we have this 54-foot trailer. If you'll help us fill it, we'll take it out free to Joplin. Mm -hmm. And I thought at first, oh, that's no problem. They brought it, and I stood in the trailer, and I said, oh, somebody should have told me that 54 feet <laughs> is so big. And we could not fill this by ourselves. And here's where the engagement with the community really took off was I knew there was no way that we could fill this trailer by ourselves. I'm an optimist, but my leaders were looking at me saying, Pastor Kathy, there's no way. So we put a big banner on the truck 
from Dover, PA to Joplin, Missouri, help is on the way. Oh, and we invited great. the community to help us come fill the truck and we did all kinds of stuff. And people would come and they'd sign the banners and they'd drop the items that were needed off. And so the engagement came from just going in and serving the community to kind of activating the Dover community to take part in a mission. And so many more people than we ever dreamed of outside the church are looking for someone to take leadership and to lead a community. There are so many people that want to give, that want to participate in that. So we had just in very precious, we had one lady who came and made breakfast every Saturday morning for our guys who were babysitting the truck for people to drop off donations. And we had (laughs) the Cub Scout troops and um, all sorts of groups just engage. Now we had a community, not just that we were serving, but that was engaging. And that was the most amazing thing to see happen, that they are actually now, they'll call us when there's a disaster from the neighborhood and say, what are, what are we going to do to respond? What are, what are we doing? And that to me is, is just God, because it was never on our radar. We were just trying to get our people engaged in mission and and now we've taken leadership. And we are defined by that in the community um, so much that um, we have people from the neighborhood that will send us checks and just say, you're doing so much as an organization, we want to support you. And this summer we received a grant of land from a neighbor with no connection to the church just because they still believe in the mission that we're on. And when you get the people from the community um, seeing your vision, that's that's really an amazing, amazing thing that God's doing. I like how you worded that, that you said um, our church is now defined by our mission work and people come to us for that. I think it's excellent that you were able to get the word out by having the banner and engaging the community in that way and that people in the community do um, look to the people in your church now um, as leaders and, and come to you with questions of how they can get involved. Um, so I thank you for taking that first step and that God has blessed you and your missions. Um, and I hope I'm excited to see what further uh, missions come out of that. Amen. <laughs> so um, if you would like to learn more about this church's model example of, um, of mission work, you can check out my p- Facebook page at Susquehanna Express.